Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our virtual lesson. Today we're going to be talking about summarizing and how when you summarize a story, it's kind of like making pasta for dinner. So uh, here we are in my office, which is actually connected to the kitchen. And so we're going to go into the kitchen here in just a second. I'm going to show you how we summarize by making some delicious mac and cheese. Okay, so we know that a story is comprised of main ideas and details. And so for our simile, explanation of uh, how to summarize a story. First we've got to start out with the whole shebang. So we're going to start with our main idea which is the pasta here, the delicious macaroni and cheese that we're starting with. And we're going to combine it with the details which is the water that you can see is at a nice teeming 212 degrees where it's boiling. So to make the whole story first we have to put the noodles in with the water also known as the main ideas together with the details. And we're gonna let that cook for a little while so that the main ideas and the details can get all mixed together and then we will take it to the next step. Okay, so our whole story put together, main ideas and details, pasta and water, all cooked together to make one fantastic story or meal, as it were. So we're gonna separate the main ideas and the details now, which is an important step when you wanna summarize a story. So we're walking over here to the sink and we're looking at the strainer sitting here in my sink. So what we need to do is pour out all of the water and what you'll see is that the water goes through all those holes in the strainer and all the pasta stays behind. So what we end up with is just the main ideas. Now the details are what make the story what it is so it's not to say that they're not important and like our macaroni wouldn't look the way it was if we didn't add that water in there and cook it, right? It would be small and hard and quite honestly pretty disgusting. And so we have to put it together. We need the main, the main ideas and the details to work together to make the story what it is. But then when we want to summarize, we've got to back it up and then we've got to separate just the main ideas that have been enriched by the details and start picking those apart so that we can uh, give a summary of what the story is about. Here we have the finished product. It is the whole story with the details sifted out and just the main ideas left. Now when we summarize what we do is we take like the main ideas and we retell the story in our own words but we don't retell the whole story because that wouldn't be a summary. Summary means that you are giving uh, a small sampling of the story. So if I like gave this all to someone to say, hey, this is what my macaroni and cheese tastes like, that wouldn't be a sampling, that wouldn't be a summary, that would be the whole thing. So instead, this is the delicious, wonderful, cheesy summary. It's just a little sampling of this whole pot of stuff right here. So what I can do is I can take a bite of this or maybe eat everything that's on that little plate there and that will tell me what the whole pot of stuff tastes like but I don't have to eat the whole pot of stuff I can just eat this to know what the whole thing is about so a summary is a small explanation as few words as you can use to tell what the whole story is about without retelling the whole story I'm going to go and enjoy my summary now mm. Now that's a good summary.